Hey Howlers, Miss Cynthia here. Our primary project topic this week is insects. And I wanted to do a short video to talk about the praying mantis. They are very majestic looking insects. Their name comes from the fact that their front legs bend together in a position that looks like they're in a constant state of prayer. And as adults, they can get up to five or six inches long. They're typically green or brown, so they camouflage well in the plants and shrubs that they live in. And they are excellent hunters. Their head actually spins 180 degrees, allowing them to um, see and attack a lot of other insects quickly. Gardeners love them because they eat pests like mosquitoes and flies. Um, they also eat grasshoppers, moths, and almost every other insect. So they are great to have in a garden. And I have been spending time outside this week working on my flowers and shrubs and weeding and um, planting some roses and doing a few things. And I have found several egg um, cases of praying mantis in my landscaping. So uh, these are actually called Uthica. I believe that's the correct pronunciation. And um, they look like foam or styrofoam when they harden. I'm gonna zoom in on a few that I found on a butterfly bush here. There's one, two, three. So again, these are called Uthica. They're praying mantis egg cases. And the praying mantis mama lays these in um, early fall or late fall, uh, just before the first frost. Um, so she will lay these and at one time, these can have up to three or 400 praying mantis eggs inside. And so over the course of the winter, the praying mantis babies develop and um, typically sometime in early to mid spring, they will hatch. Um, not all of the eggs will survive, but um, when they do hatch, they look just like fully grown praying mantis. Um, they're just really tiny and the babies are called nymphs. So praying mantis nymphs um, are great to have around. As soon as they emerge, they start eating other insects and uh, they help to control pests in a garden. So I would encourage you guys, it's a great time to find them. Go outside, look on your trees and shrubs and bushes. Um, I found three of the Uthica egg sacs on, um, this is a butterfly bush, but I also found one in a hydrangea. I found one on a stem of lavender and also in a laurel bush. So um, you should be able to find some in the shrubbery and plants around your own home. Um, these are probably one to two inches in size. They're kind of a little bit slimy looking. And again, they harden to almost a foamy texture. I haven't actually touched these because I want to protect them so that I'll have lots of praying mantis nymph babies running around eating my mosquitoes this summer. So go outside, have a look in your shrubs, and if you find any, take a picture and share it with the rest of us on our Facebook group. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope to see you soon.